to my channel, a place where future leaders come to get inspired. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. In this video, I will share and show you tips and hints on how to be exam smart, stress less and get top marks with my five top tips. By the end of this video, you'll understand and do what you are being asked to do. Without any further delay, let's get straight to my five top tips for saving your exams. And by the way, thank you again for watching and keep learning. I think by far the most important words in a question are common content and command exam words. So it's really important that you understand these. My experience in the past has been not so good because I tended to just start writing and not really pay attention to these words which would have signposted me and I would have scored lots and lots of marks. But maybe I misunderstood them or I just ignored them. So for the purpose of this lesson, I'd like for you to pay attention to these seven words that I've chosen carefully, just as examples of what command words or content words look like and what they mean. The first one is analyze, which is break down into characteristics and features. Comment is give a backed up opinion. If you're asked to compare, you're being asked to identify similarities and differences between things in a balanced way. And if you're asked to describe, you give detailed account of something, e.g. theory, concept or study. In other words, you kind of look, you give an account. And if you're asked to discuss this word, watch out, very important. It tends to turn up in most exams and carries a lot of marks. So what it's asking for you to do or what you're being asked to do there is to debate or argue by giving examples for what you're saying and support your points with explanations. That's pros and cons. Explain simply means you give detailed account that includes reasons, results, causes, and effect. Whereas evaluate is asking for you to weigh up the advantages and disadvantages, positives and negatives, or strengths and weaknesses by keeping your answer balanced. I wish someone told me about this before, that actually if I went and get a, got hold of past papers, past assignments, I would have done better. Well, I learned the hard way, but you don't have to. So basically what you need to do here is to get yourself an old question paper, even past assignments, quite useful. And so you look at uh, how the questions are set on the page. Then you pay attention to the number of questions there are, whether there are separate sections from which to choose questions, because it does some questions or question papers ask you to specifically do one or the other, or there are questions which are compulsory, so be very careful as you go through this. You practice so that you get it right in the exam. And the kind of questions, of course, that are set will also be shown up in past papers and how the questions map onto the content of the course. So throughout the year, what you've done, that's how they're going to be sampled in these papers. And the sort of language and skills these papers or assignments employ. That is basically what your examiners employ as the language. So pay attention to that. 
Right, warning, don't be like me. I just would just grab my pen, start writing, because I was racing against time. But actually, that was not the way to do it. I found after 25 minutes of writing, everything I wrote was wrong. Reason? I didn't understand the exam question. So it's important to understand exam questions. Read the question very carefully and stick to the word limit. Underline command words again. A reminder, use the marks available to plan your answer. Don't labor on a two mark question. Spend 10 minutes on a two mark question. That tells you that it doesn't really require that much. It could just be a give, a recall question that you need to deal with. But if a question is has been allocated 25 marks, that makes you think. You need to plan properly. So use your time wisely over here. Stay relevant by answering the question. Relevance cannot be overemphasized in an exam, in a test. So be relevant. Connect points together using linking terms to improve flow. My last slide is going to show you how to use those linking words to improve your flow. Very important. This is where most marks are made. Use paragraphs. How many times have I written a piece of work with 25 lines without a paragraph? And I've been warned and been told I should write my work in paragraphs. One idea leading to the next by and linking those ideas with connecting words. This is because they help you you know, to give your answer a clear structure. So you've got to have an introduction, body, and a conclusion so that it signposts to the reader what you are writing about, arguing about, the point you are making. Write answers in standard English, especially if you are writing for an exam or you're writing to answer for exams, tests, do not use slang. Do not use text speak. You will lose marks. It's all about academic writing here. And finally, check for correct spelling, punctuation and grammar. So whenever you finish writing your piece of work at the end of your complete exam, just make sure you've got about five to ten minutes where you go through all your work and check for errors, spelling, punctuation, grammar. I've included this part here where I say plan, prepare, practice. You can do this by looking at assignments and past papers. Assignments, what they tend to do, you, you get to know how your exam works. You test yourself with real questions. You get used to the language examiners use. And if you get given feedback in an assignment or test, this is where it shows you where you went wrong. It informs you how you can improve. You can improve future assessments. And feedback also gives insight into what examiners are looking for. So don't ignore. And my final slide. This is where I was talking about using linking words. So you use linking words or link words to improve flow. That is the flow of your essay. Makes sense with link words or linking words. There are various linking words you can use but I've just chosen a couple that you can apply when you write you could be making an argument and you could also show the writer the reader different angles of your argument by saying something like another reason is 
However, a different explanation is this boils down to a, as a result, consequently, or you could say, I would argue, this is important because, this is not important because, an alternative viewpoint is that, therefore, eventually. I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching again. Keep learning.